Hey, Agile Loungers, comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? What's up, guys? So, enfin, finalement, Solon Victus a décidé de nous euh, réchauffer un peu. Je reviens d'un entraînement exceptionnel. Je me sens I'm completely fulfilled with this uh, 57 kilometers. It's not that much, but that was uh, what I could do today. So, and uh, I just read like a couple of blogs relaxing, like before the shower. I like to do this. And, um, Uh, shout out to Beryl Salomon, he inspired me to making that vlog to go beyond agility and beyond business entrepreneurships. So yes, what could I say? Happy or being fulfilled? Hein? Être heureux ou se sentir euh, d'avoir un sentiment d'accomplissement? À un moment donné, that's the thing. So I don't want to be too Franklish. Let's do it in English because it's, it's been a couple of vlogs on Agile Lounge that I made uh, solely in French. So let's switch a bit for my, uh, my English peeps uh, and folks in the United States as well as I'm coming in Austin very soon <clears throat> uh, to kick some ass. So yeah, being fulfilled or being happy. So for me, it's, it's being happy is not the outcome. The outcome will be being fulfilled and continuously improving. So if we go beyond agility and beyond conscious and business, I think that that's the thing. That's really the thing that should motivate us. Like being the better version of ourselves, continuously ourselves, like a better version for ourselves being like being better for self being better for others and of course when you're an entrepreneur and you do professional services you'd like to be better in offering the best quality by improving the way you offer your services for your client and also the services in a conscious leadership way above the professional services which mean in life in society for the universe with your experience and the interaction with others and uh, I think competition should be something like you look from inner and other with the others like what are the other doing that make like your phone doesn't ring that much so you have to introspectively and inspect and adapt yourself so this is why like even if I'm phasing out agility more and more probably towards 2020 to 2023 agility has brought me since 1999 so much uh, tools uh, mindset and ways to make this kind of ability to improve myself on the personal level but I'll, as well as my interaction with others so relationship communication it's really the way to it ends and to improve because if you don't compare yourself to others and if you don't compare yourself to what you've been doing and how to change the way you're doing things there's no way there's no way that you're gonna improve and have this uh, fulfillment sentiment this fulfillment type of thing that you achieve things so yeah basically I wanted to do like uh, this quick beyond agility vlog on my agile lounge about a reflection that Beryl Solomon that I follow on, the, on LinkedIn and I put the link in the description below um, about this kind of kick especially after like a, almost a 60k um, bike ride in the West Island coming back home in La Salle enjoying life enjoying that Sol Invictus again and uh, preparing myself for an amazing week of uh, helping people and organization getting better and more 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 smarter in the way they are the way they do and the way they act upon what they try to achieve and they should achieve actually with improving themselves as well so agile lounge and the coach af is signing off have a beautiful time a beautiful day a beautiful week awesome keep keep on smiling and please like this video share it with others to inspire others and uh, be well to yourself and let's try also for yourself to become the better version of yourself for yourself for the world and for your clients cheers guys